Hello everyone, and it's finally here. Knights of the Fallen Empire is launched, well, launched into early access today, and I'm already level 65. <laughs> yeah, we said lack of content would be the thing. How long did it take to get to 65? Well, doing actual leveling content, two hours, because what I did was I, I timed it using the XP booster, basically. Your major XP booster lasts, what, three hours? And my stim uh, lasts, uh, the mastery stim lasts, what, eight hours, the purple mastery stim. So what I did was just, as soon as I started chapter one, pop the XP boost, pop the stim. Okay, the XP boost was still going, it had an hour left, and the stim had, what, uh, six hours left by the time I popped that. So two hours, for, and that's not skipping cutscenes to get from 60 to 65. That was just doing the uh, the story quest, just doing the chapters. I think I got to chapter chapter 7 was where I got up to chapter 7 of 9 of course we're getting right now. Uh, chapter 7, that's chapter 8 just now. Now the footage you are looking at is level synced footage. Now I haven't included spoilers in this video but we do have level synced footage. We're soloing a couple of heroic twos and those, those of us who had, those people who had fears about level sync would cut off portions of the game or make the game too hard for certain sections. It's facial easy, let's be honest with you. I'm using HK55 here as a healer, which I think is unnecessary here because my health barely ever drops to any any re real level to to bother me. I did the two of them on chorus. I did trouble indeed because that was quite tough back in the day. It was a heroic four back in the day you had like four elite guys and things like that. you had to CC things and some people didn't have CC's and you needed a healer that was decent back in the day at level that was one of the toughest things to do in the game actually that uh, that heroic quest but uh, fairly easy I did the uh, well, I can't remember what it was called the one you have to get the astral navigation charts it'll probably be displayed in the uh, in the video I did that one as well also did black hole as well, the uh, black hole. Uh, when you go to the black hole, you're scaled down to level 52, uh, and it's facial easy. It's not a heroic four. The uh, chasing the shadow, it's called. Uh, it's not a heroic four. It is a heroic two, and you'll see. I kind of mess around a little bit. I actually mess up a little bit. You'll see later in the video. I actually mess up a little bit, and I mess around with HK55, changing him from healer to tank to DPS. Never died once. Well, HK55 died on the first pool. I left him as DPS and, you know, he went crazy and it pulled all the aggro and died. So that was useful. Useful really there. But if you put them in healer, you barely take any damage. I actually messed up on the final boss. He actually bugged out and got stuck outside the room and still managed to kill the final boss. So you're bolstered that, you're bol you sort of synced, we'll call it. You're level synced down to 52. You have about 22k HP and your damage output is the equivalent of someone in campaign gear. Now if you were in campaign gear back in the day, the black hole wasn't a challenge, okay? This is not challenging whatsoever. You're still over leveled, you're still going to be uh, over geared as a level 50 would have been back then. Bear in mind that was designed, the black hole was designed to be run for those who were had blue level 50 gear. That's the, the gear it was designed to run. If you're level 52 uh, and you got 22k HP, okay, and I think your damage is around, I think it's around a thousand primary damage, uh, you're gonna do it no problem, okay? I had no problems running that. Uh, the level sync fears, unconfirmed really, to be honest for me. I, I don't think they were unfounded, should we say, unconfirmed. Uh, I don't think they were that that well I mean people were sort of lost their shit over level saying oh it's gonna ruin the game it's gonna kill the game it actually doesn't it opens up the game there's so much more possibilities you know if you don't like uh say say you get to what is it you get finish Coruscant and say you're level 19 level 19 20 and you've got a choice you can go to Taris or you can go to Nar Shadda before uh, it was fairly linear. You had to really do Taris before you did Nar Shadda, because if you did Nar Shadda first, you'd be too over level to go back and do Taris. This, however, gives you genuine choice. Okay, there's a choice now. If you're high enough level to go to Nar Shadda, you can go to Nar Shadda. Do all the quests there, get the relevant XP, 
Uh, you'll be over level for Tara, so you can go back, get level synced, and still gain XP there. The same with Tatooine and Alderaan. Now, you, there is that those points in the story where now you have the choice. Or say you just like questing in Nar Shaddaa for whatever reason, you can do the bonus series. I think the bonus series, I think the whole planet is being synced down to 20 to 24, so you'll probably be like level 25, 26 at level sync, so... As long as you're, you know, I, th I think it will be the same. I think that's what they've done with most of the areas because they changed all the heroic fours to heroic twos. Uh, they are, I, I've, I did three of them. You can see three of them in this video and soloed them. No problems. No problem. I don't think I needed a healer companion for chorus and I think that's just me being over cautious, but I thought we went in. Bit of caution. Vanguard, tactic spec, uh, fresh level 65. Uh, don't really have great gear to be honest. I do have a few, uh, now the rewards, we'll talk about the rewards for them. You do get, um, what's it called, glowing crystals and common crystals. Common crystals are basic comms and glowing crystals are elite comms, okay. Radiant crystals are ultimate comms, okay. So you can buy 208 gear at end game when you hit 65 for your uh, common crystals. You can buy uh, 216 here it is for uh, the, uh, what are they, not Radiant, um, spark I'll call them Sparkly Crystals, the Elite Comms, I can't even remember, Glowing Crystals, that's what they're called, Glowing Crystals, and the Radiant Crystals buys you 220 gear. Uh, so I bought, I've got a sort of mixture of sort of 216 and a couple of 208s, I did run out of Common Crystals, but there's plenty of quests to do, I'll get myself geared up. Uh, not buying Augments at the moment, because I'm not raiding, and... Also, uh, not doing the, uh, what you can do is actually just level alts and just buy the gear because it's just like you belt and bracers are just mastery, endurance, power. You have no choice for DPS or healer. So what you can do is just buy the bracers and just have the bracers across all your alts. Uh, that are non-tank, of course, tank is defense, okay, and you can just have one set of belt and bracers for your tanks, really, and uh, I don't know if we need accuracy, that's the thing, one of the things I'm looking at is my accuracy is 112%, okay, and a couple of PCs do have accuracy in them for DPS, the offhand certainly has accuracy in it, um, so I bought the offhand with accuracy, just in case we did need it, but I'm sitting at 112% accuracy, I'm still a few 190 PCs, Augment's very expensive at the moment, 140,000 credits for a blue, uh, level 64 Augment, the 40 Augments. Uh, the Augmentation Kits are Mark 8, there are plenty of them available. I think all the Mark 10s just got converted to Mark 8, so all those Mark 10s that were in the marketplace, they put the prices up, they're about 60k instead of 40k now. But yeah, you're still able to buy. Mark 8 is the new highest augment, okay? And all of your Mark 10s have been converted to Mark 8, so you don't need to re-augment your gear. Uh, so augment's a bit expensive. Uh, there's no real, no one's really crafting in-game barrels or anything like that yet, so I'm stuck with the 192 one. You can't buy a main hand, of course, from the vendors. Uh, I guess the only place you'll get them is operations. I uh, haven't started them yet, I haven't looked into them yet, but I guess you, you could have queued via group finder, I guess, while leveling. Might have a go at that, might have a go actually, might have a go at some of the hard mode flashpoints. I need to get my tank gear sorted, so what I'm going to do is start leveling alts, is what I'm going to start doing, is start as soon as we can, use your alts commendations because doing away with all the stats is actually not a bad thing. And bear in mind, if you're struggling for gearing, you can get used devoted allies gear on yourself now in 4.0, so gearing is... Not a huge issue anymore because we can just use any any alt any alt that we want and use them to gear because mastery is your main stat now for every single class. Uh, what I can, what I've done is I put my sa I put my commando gear on my sage for a laugh and went about with that on. And as long as it armor's adaptive and legacy bound, you can do that fairly easily. Obviously, weapons and offhands you're gonna have to buy each individual gonna have to buy that so that's where you're gonna grind your comms on but yeah uh the mad scramble for comms begins hopefully the commendations i haven't i didn't look at the operations gear i didn't take a look at that uh but hopefully the mad scramble for operate for uh for comms gear uh doesn't 
short out in a few weeks like it did in Shadow of Revan because it's going to go even quicker now because of course all the main stat is mastery so you're just going to get other characters to 65 and you're just going to go and use that gear to buy so if you can buy 220 though you can sit there with like full 220 if you have enough alts if I have enough alts and I probably do have enough alts I could put some you know put a DPS in full 220 gear if I if I wanted to now you say I know it's kind of crappy for sort of hard mode rating but for story mode and sort of hard mode flashpoints it's not bad you know that's not half bad imagine you were full 198 when you started Shadow of Revan uh, even if it was com gear you know it would be uh, pretty easily so I, I don't like that design choice as for the story yeah, it's pretty good uh, I quite enjoyed it so I enjoyed it so far um, I'm at chapter eight. No, second last chapter, just beginning that. I quite like it. We're not going to do a lot of story spoilers in this one, but it's really good. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, some of the uh, performances are really nice. I like Lana. I like the uh, the Zakul Knight chick, whose name I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, you've got the uh, smuggler guy, whose name I can't remember as well. Uh, Koth, his name is. There you go. Uh, but the star of the show, the, the, the guy, the, the droid that steals the show is, of course, HK55. I mean, some of his one-liners are hilarious. It's worth playing through just to get HK55. Now, you also get companions from other class story missions as well, other classes, things like that. I won't spoil it by telling you who. Uh, you also meet uh, other companions from other story quests as well. So some companions do have a role to play. Uh, again, we won't spoil it for you. This is a spoiler-free, uh, spoiler-free first impression. Overall, uh, the game is pretty easy. Um, it's ridiculously easy. I remember fighting an elite, and it was like this big elite. Uh, it was a big walker droid elite on Zakul, and you're like, shit, I better pop cooldowns. And I got halfway through my rotation, and it died. I was like, I didn't even fire my energy blast off. I couldn't even get it off. I put everything into it. I popped my cooldowns. I had a stim up. I was like, oh, this is going to be tough. And I was with Lana at the time. You get Lana as a companion for a bit. Uh, so, you know, that's not really a spoiler. That was shown in, you know, you've seen it in the streams. So, so I don't consider that a spoiler. So, yeah, I was like, oh. I had Lana as a DPS, not a healer. I, I've never used any of the companions as a healer, apart from the heroics, just for caution reasons. Uh, but yeah, uh, in the Knights of the Fallen Empire content, ridiculously easy. Now, I'm not that well geared as a Vanguard, I should point out. My Vanguard isn't my best geared character. She has 190 with some 192 com gear. That's it, and I'm just face rolling it. Absolutely face rolling through it all. I haven't tried the new Flashpoint yet, so I haven't, uh, you have to finish the story to unlock the new Flashpoint. It's available in Solo and weirdly a Heroic 2. Don't know why it just isn't tactical. I don't, I don't get that. But yeah, so far, so good. Shadow of Revan started well. In terms of bugs, haven't really noticed anything. Uh, all of my companions had no pants. Don't know what they were doing in the downtime. That was the only real concern there. What were they doing? As I summoned Alara uh, just before I started, it's like, why have you got no pants on? Of course, companions don't have gear, and also companion weapons have changed as well. So, uh, Jorgen doesn't use an assault cannon anymore. I take that as because strength has been removed from the game, so he's not strong enough to pick it up. Because, of course, strength is a commander's main stat. It was. It was a commander's main stat. Uh, you know, you needed the strength to pick up the big gun. I'll leave you with that. But overall, is it's pretty good so far. I've enjoyed it. I haven't really encountered any major bugs. One of the tips I will give you is turn off tutorials, okay? Uh, because if you go into the first chapter with tutorials on, it'll take away all your abilities. <laughs> okay, it assumes you're a new player and just takes away all your abilities. I think it's a bug, though, so far. Uh, early access, pretty buggy. Uh, the bugs aren't too bad, really. I haven't really encountered anything major, but... You know, that was one of the bugs. Uh, I, I didn't even get a chance to click X on the, the tutorial window that popped up and said, are you a new player? And it just took away all my abilities. I was quite annoyed at that and I couldn't get them to reset. But luckily it gives you them back fairly quickly as you progress through the first chapter. I'm like, I'm not doing this with just four abilities, really. So that's for those those who purchased the level 60. But anyway, that is all for this video. I will do more videos in the week. And thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon. And goodbye.